Adelaide United and Western United faced off in the first game of the A-League season. Tonight, they meet for a contest which means so much in this white knuckle ride to the finals. There is back to DMRT again. A lot of time to sum up the situation here on his left foot. Elsie read it all. Didn't quite get the clearance right though, but Halloran nips in in front of Payne and can break. You know how quick this guy is. The road runner, Adelaide United's fast man down the right. Victor Sanchez, who was doing what all good defensive midfielders do and cleaning up any mistakes in front of him, had to clean up, but unfortunately, he's gone into the book. Louis, last time he picked up an early booking, he ended up not seeing out the first half. That one against Western Sydney Wanderers, where it was two fouls, two yellows, one red. Let's see if he's learned his lesson in that regard. Diamante's free kicks. A beauty, Uzcock gets on the end of it. Calver as well. And who? Who else? Bessard Barisha, who cannot stop scoring against Adelaide United. Well, the question is, did it come off the hand of Tommy Uzcock? They might rub this out because it does look like it contacts the hand, as inadvertent as it was. Did it have a material impact on the direction of the ball? Did it knock a defender out of the way? No, but it flicks the hand, and so therefore, it's no goal. Dorigo scampers back to get the ball, and it sends it to Moore. Dorigo plays back, and he's cluttered by Sanchez. He wants to watch himself. Oh, yeah. He's gone. Uh-oh. Big trouble. Massive trouble. So Pete's waited, tried to play advantage. Victor Sanchez has been a judge to hit Dorigo with too much, and he's gone. Jordan Elsie or, or Timothy or one of the fullbacks really needs to step into midfield and, and pick up Bessart Barisha or, or Diamante so that when West United do win the ball back or clear it, they can straight away win the ball again, Adelaide. Goodwin to Halloran. Lovely ball. Mork, good first touch. Second hit the side netting and he can't believe it. Just keep your eye on Andrew Durante again. Western United kip, the skipper as Mork skips through. It's Durante who reacts. Is that enough to put Mork off? It would be considered a night of regret for Adelaide United having played so long against 10 men. Well, a win, as you said at the top of the telecast, Adam. Takes him to clear second space. Same games as Sydney. Two points clear of Sydney. Mork. Show and go. Yangi, oh, good save from Scott. Better the good. Outstanding. Really good work. And it can catch people by surprise, but Yangi's done. That's squeezing in. That's great work from Cassini Yangi. Even better from the keeper, Ryan Scott. Diamati. Past Elsie. Surely advantage. Oh, it's a lovely ball. Piraeus, all of a sudden, a chance for Western United. Massive chance. Off the line, no. Goal. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. But this is not going to be pleasing news for Western United. It's a farce. Sorry, it's a farce. Diamati battling to get away from everyone. That touch from Lockie Wales skipping over the ball works out OK. And Connor Payne. Honestly, uh, was that ball and then man? It's a yellow card for Mohamed Toure and a big chance of a dead ball situation here for Western United. Diamati. Can't quite get his geometry right. He'll get another crack at the cross. It's a brilliant one and Calver. Free header, edge of six yard box. Goal kick. More than that in the post game, Harps. Dylan Boreas. Oh, forward run, Lockie Wales. Chance, penalty, surely. No, ball one. Looked like Strain, looked like Strain got his leg around it and took out Wales with the ball. My initial reaction was penalty because Chris Beath was pointing to the penalty spot. He was pointing to the ball. Yangi slips over, but Mohamed Toure with a chance. Andrew Durante, incredible defending. Absolutely extraordinary.
Unbelievable. That's a second yellow. Mohamed Toure has seen red. Gets the ball. Gets the ball. VAR checking that. It'll be waved all clear. Mohamed Toure has been sent off for a second yellow card. He's gone over the ball. You get to the end of these games and you think, geez, we probably should have started peppering the goal uh, a lot earlier than we did. If anyone tells you that football, when it's nil-nil, is uneventful, hasn't seen a game like this. That's how it ends. Full time at Coopers, Adelaide United nil, Western United nil. That was not boring. <laughs>